Now what we find absolutely fascinating is why some animals will climb up on guard over 12 meters high or more, going on guard like this, spending even in four hours or so up on guard as I mentioned, when the animals next to them are not doing it. And we pretty much wanted to know why are certain animals going on guard for such a long time when those next to them are not. Some people thought these were turns, like this animal was taking a turn. This is not a turn. There's another reason for this animal doing it. And over many, many years of studying what the animals were eating and recording how long they spent guarding, we found that their condition has a huge impact on this kind of behavior. That animals that are in good condition, well, quite simply, why look for food when you're not hungry? Just go up on guard. Anyone could do it, potentially, even the younger animals. But we found that younger animals are not usually in the best condition they might get fed and go on guard, but older animals get food sooner and spend more time guarding than younger animals on average. So, now guard like this will stop once the rest of the meerkats move on, because the time it takes a meerkat to look out for danger, to look out for food, to find the food must be carefully balanced. I like to say between how much time it takes before they could become food. Now in the distance, the rest of the group is moving on. Please notice how few of the meerkats are actually standing up to look around now that there's one on guard. If the sound that this animal is making stops for a while, other animals will then stand up and have a look for danger. If they are in good condition, they'll stay up on guard.